everyone. Today I am going to show you how to make coquito. So this is a very, very popular drink in Puerto Rico and especially during the holidays this drink is super popular. There are a lot of ingredients. Everybody does this differently. This is my way to do coquito. So uh, you may like it, you may not, but I promise you one thing, this is a hot recipe. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you what you need to make this. Now, if you're selling coquito or if you're making it for a big party, this is going to give you a lot. So that is what I'm doing, so I need a lot of coquito. If not, you can pretty much get everything in halves. So the first thing we're going to need is four bottles or jars of um, evaporated milk. So cuatro latas de leche evaporada. We need two uh, cans of uh, leche de coco, so coconut milk, so we're going to need two of these. Now, this is probably my favorite. It is Coco Lope, so this one right here, uh, we're going to need two of these. This is a coconut cream, so it is not a milk. We need two of those. We also need la lechera. This is leche condensada, so we're going to need two of these right here. This is where you get your sweetness from, okay, guys, so we need this. Two of those. We need nutmeg. I am just going to use a tablespoon of nutmeg. I'm going to use a tablespoon of cinnamon. So una cucharada de lodo. Uh, we're going to use the cloves. I'm going to use five of those. Ani. So we're going to need uh, three of these right here. We need agua de coco. Now this is optional. This right here is optional. However, this is how I make it. I also need palos de um, canela. So I'm going to bring that in just a second as well. So we're going to use the agua de coco, and you need bacardi. So this right here is hecho en Puerto Rico. Okay. Y además, lo que vas a necesitar es una cerveza, porque eso está cabrón de preparar. Just joking. All right. So <laughs> be right back. What we're going to do right now is we are going to make what is called té, so a tea. Not everybody does this. If you are from Puerto Rico or you have lived in Puerto Rico, it is highly probable that you know about this. And this is a big game changer. So we're just going to have um, water, coconut water. I'm gonna put in two cups. Now I'm only gonna use one cup when I actually um, put this into my mix. But for cooking purposes, I'm gonna use two cups. Now I'm gonna put this uh, about medium for now. I am going to put in four sticks of cinnamon. I am going to use this ani. So I'm going to grab that out. So I'm going to use three whole ani. If you are making this for a party and not your home, please make sure you wash your hands, guys. I'm having a problem getting this out. So there we go. I'm also going to use some whole cloves. I'm going to use five of those. Okay. So I'm going to get five. So one, two, three, four and five. So that is what I'm going to use right now. I'm going to go ahead and let this cook. I want to get it to a boil and then I'm going to reduce it. Then I'm going to let it sit for about 10 minutes. You want the full color to be absorbed. So I am going to top this right here. En español lo que yo hice es que yo puse dos copas de agua de coco. Okay. So, lo puse ahí, lo voy a poner a hervir, y también use tres estrellitas de aní, y cinco clavitos aquí. Además, use cuatro palitos de uh, canela. So, lo voy a dejar ahí por unos diez minutitos. Necesito que la agua de coco se cambie de color, va a ser como cafecito. Eso se va a llamar el té para el coquito, ¿ok? Aunque yo hice do, uh, usé dos copas, solamente voy a usar una por el coquito. Pero lo pongo dos para cocinar, ¿ok? Ok, so I am just checking in with you guys. My tea is boiling. So I'm going to leave it there just a little bit longer. Now, what you're going to need to do your coquito is you're going to need something to put it in after. 
you need to use glass. Okay, when you use glass, it contains its flavor a lot better. Now, if you do drink, um, you want to save some alcohol bottles during the year. We don't drink in my house, so, I mean, I'll have like one of cerveza or something like that, but we're not big drinkers, so I don't really have any liquor bottles. But if you have liquor bottles from fa uh, family or friends, I would keep those. If not, like this cost me $1.99. So, and then these right here, so if you're selling it individually, um, you would have little glasses or whatever you're going to use. You're going to need a measuring cup. You're going to need these little spoons. You're going to need something to uh, mix your coquito in and a big spoon. Now, a lot of people use a blender. I'm not using a blender just because of how much coquito I'm making. I don't want to have to deal with putting it in the blender, taking it out, and all that other stuff. So, okay. Um, en español, como ves, esto está hirviendo. Huele bien rico. Vamos a dejarlo por unos minutitos más. Además, necesitamos, es lo que vamos a necesitar para preparar el cocote. So, lo que vas a necesitar es una botella. Necesito de vidrio. Uh, siempre necesito vidrio cuando está haciendo coquito. Si toma uh, durante el año, que, quédate con toda la botella de licor. Y en ese tipo de año puedes usarlos para el coquito. También si los está vendiendo, um, necesitas unas botellitas chiquitas o lo que quieres hacer para que se mire bonito como tú quieres. Además, necesitamos algo para medir el licor. Y necesitamos esas cucharaditas para medir todo, el, um, todo, todo lo que vamos a usar, como la canela y cosas así. Necesitamos un bol o algo grande para mezclarlo. Mucha gente usa una licuadora, pero yo no porque estoy haciendo mucho coquito y no quiero estar poniéndolo y luego y todo eso. A mí no me gusta hacer tanta drama. So, ya vamos. Ahorita regreso cuando esto está listo. Ok, una cosa. Asegúrate de que limpia la lata, la parte de arriba, porque siempre está sucio en la tienda. So, necesita estar uh, limpiando, estar pendiente de eso. Alright, so one thing I want everybody to know is that you need to make sure that you are cleaning the tops of the lids and right around the side because they are very dirty from the store. Okay guys, so I am now basically ready to start making the coquito. I'm going to turn this off right here. I need to get out everything that's in it. everything okay, and that's the last two so now it is clean you see a little bit of the remnants of the cinnamon but that's perfectly fine so I am going to pour this into my pan Now, as you see here, it's at a cup. So we started with two cups, and now it's reduced down to one cup. So that is what we're going to use. Okay, so now we're going to just basically go ahead and mix everything. So I'm just going to start grabbing anything that I see. Everything has been cleaned. Everything was shaken. Starting with the condensed I mean the evaporated milk. It doesn't really matter which way you start. You just need to get it all in there. So, como ven, yo solamente estoy mezclando todo aquí. Saqué todo de la agua de coco. Esto es la leche. If you've never seen coconut cream, it has a film on the top of it, okay? So it's pretty thick on the inside here. So that's what you're going to see with that. So go ahead and have a spoon ready so you can get everything out. I always just take a spoon and kind of break the top of it. Once you break the top of it, you can really start to get it all out. Okay. 
Well, that was nice sounding. And then we have La Lechera, which is hard to get out. So I'm going to end up pouring this and then I'm going to clean out the actual cans and get the rest in there. Okay, so I'm going to put that to the side. And when I can use both hands, I'll go off camera and I'll get everything out and then pour it in there. All right, so I'm going to push pause. Okay, so I have got basically everything. At this point, I'm going to get my cinnamon. I am just going to use one tablespoon or more. and about one tablespoon of nutmeg. I'm going to put in my tea. And now all that's to it is just to stir. And I'm gonna sit here and stir for about five minutes or more. So I'm gonna push pause. Okay, so one last thing I forgot to tell you to do is put a tablespoon of vanilla into the mix. Okay guys, so I moved this to a larger container here. And if you're wanting it for kids, you are not going to put any alcohol in it at all. All right, unless you want some drunk babies, which is illegal, so don't do that. Okay, so we're gonna just go ahead and stir it. I wanted this in this big deep pan, so when I do put my alcohol in, I'm gonna be able to mix it very well. If you don't mix it well, it's going to taste nasty. All right, so what you would do for kids is you would go ahead and take some out, put it in a glass bottle, and put it in the fridge. This is going to taste better, especially with alcohol, the longer you leave it in the fridge. So it's probably a good time to go ahead and bottle it up and put it in for Christmas now. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a cup and a half of Bacardi. I'm going to pour that in off camera and I'm going to stir it in and continue to stir vigorously. Now if you are not using so much, then you probably want to use a blender to make sure that you get that really good consistent um, blend. So, en español, lo que yo hice, que yo lo moví a algo más grande. Uh, quería así para que puedo mixtearlo muy bien, porque cuando he hecho el alcohol, si no lo metea bien, va a tener un mal sabor. Si lo vas a dar a los nenes, no vas a poner alcohol. Y puedes ponerlo en el refri por como una semana para que sabe bien delicioso. Especialmente cuando lo haces con alcohol, quiere ponerlo ahí por como una semana para que agregue el sabor muy bien. Um, también si quiere probar un poquito, solamente lo pone en el refri por como una hora para que sea frío. Esa es bebida, necesita estar frío. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and um, mix out my alcohol and I will be right back. Okay, guys, so I have just added in one and a half cups of Bacardi. So this is a very light drink there you will not taste an overpowering amount of alcohol which can be a little bit of a problem especially for non-drinkers because if they drink it and they don't taste the alcohol they'll continue to drink and drink and then they will be in trouble so <laughs> uh, you can always add more alcohol i wouldn't recommend going over two and a half cups for this amount um i mean si quiere caer de culo pues puede poner más pero I'm not going to put any more. So one and a half cup of Bacardi is good for me. If you're wanting a stronger, more potent taste of alcohol, two and a half cups, do not go over that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bottle this up and I'll come back with a presentation. Okay, guys. So this is how the Coqueto should look when you're done. This is a big bottle. If you're going to sell this, if you're in Puerto Rico and you sell this, this is pretty much how this would go. Um, but this would be about $25 to $40, depending upon the alcohol that you use. Um, the amount, this right here would be about like two for $10. This is mine, so there's no price on that. If you are selling just a tip, you need to make sure that you know how much alcohol people want. So if they want it very strong or very light, because people can get mad if they don't have enough alcohol, if they have 
too little al alcohol or whatever. Um, if you're going to do shots, you want shots to be very strong and you would sell those like $1 each. So that's how you would work that. So in español, esto es mi coquito. Esto ahí es para mí y no tiene precio. Esto ahí se lo vas a vender como este así, este tan chiquito, vas a hacer como dos para diez. Y si eso, ese bote ya con 25 pesos hasta 40 pesos, depende de cuánto le usa. Si quieres vender los tragos, tienes que hacerlo un poco más fuerte y vas a venderlo uno, uh, cada trago por un peso. Ok, so espero que hayan gustado ese video. I hope you guys have liked this video. This is Coquito, and I promise you, my way is hot. Y'all have a good one.